given the geometric sequence, determine the value where the sequence converges. Okay, so we've made videos on this, right? We know that a sequence converges when r is anywhere between minus one and one. So what we'll do now is we need to go work out r. Now we know that r you can just get by saying term two divided by term one. So that would be term two, which is this one, divided by term one, which is this one. Okay, now remember, uh, the four and the eight can cancel. So four goes into itself once, and four goes into eight twice. Now, some learners are gonna be very comfortable with this, but some of you might struggle. So remember, this three means that there are three of those brackets. This is only for the learners that are struggling that I would write it out like this. And then at the bottom, you've got a two, and then there's two of them. So you can cancel one at the top with one at the bottom, and then one at the top with one at the bottom. And so what we are left with then is at the top you've just got x minus two. You can ignore this one, it doesn't really do anything. And then at the bottom you've got a two. So that is your r, so I'm gonna now put that over here, x minus two over two. Okay, now, we're gonna multiply this two over on either side. Some learners always ask me, um, they're like, Kevin, do we need to switch the signs the only time we switch the signs is if we multiply or divide with a negative number, but this is not a negative number, this is a positive number, okay? We're not talking about this number, we're talking about the one that we're gonna move. And so we're gonna multiply it there, and we're gonna multiply it there. So that becomes um, that, and that, and then we end up with a four on this side, because I took the minus two here, but then I also have to take the minus two there, so it'll become minus two plus two, which is zero. And so that would be the answer for that question. X must be anywhere between zero and four. They're saying now that if X is 2.5, calculate the sum to infinity. Okay, so we know that the sum to infinity formula is a very easy formula to use, which just goes um, A over one minus R. Okay, so A is term number one, which is this one over here. So we're gonna have to go work that out because they've told us that X is 2.5. Okay, so that's gonna be like that. And so that'll end up giving us eight times, um, you can actually just type that in the calculator to be honest. That'll give us two. So A is two. Okay, and then R, we're gonna have to go work that out. We know that that is uh, X minus two over two, which we looked at earlier. And so that's gonna give us 2.5 minus two over two. And that will end up being, you can just type this on the calculator, a quarter. So R is gonna be a quarter. So we're gonna just say like that. Okay, and then you can just go type this all in. And we end up with eight over three as our final answer, eight over three.